Hi, my name is Satya Kun, and I'm going to talk about the mapping forest land cover all over the USA. So I am a postgrad computer engineering student uh, from Hungary, and uh, I am mapping over 35 since uh, 2015. And I like nature, so I like when the map is colorful, so I can see where the green areas are. Of course, uh, it makes me kind of sad when uh, I can when I see that the map is uh, plain white, which is uh, which is applies to most of the USA still. So I wanted to make map the USA, which is a, a pretty good project, and a lot of people support me. Uh, although I want to talk about some stuff too, so I included some screenshots of the USA uh, since 21 and also 24, 24 this year. And you can see that most of the US uh, doesn't have uh, land cover, just in some parts like uh, in Pennsylvania or maybe in Wisconsin, in Vermont or in Maine or may maybe in Missouri. But uh, you can see the other states are just sparsely uh, located. But as uh, um, as of made by multiple uh, mappers, like you can see that Florida land use import has been completed. Also, Georgia uh, and maybe other states like Alabama or maybe Missouri has been mapped uh, thoroughly or maybe Wisconsin or maybe West Virginia. So that is a pretty much great progress. And so you can see that uh, or two, and this, is a two, and this was taken on today. And yeah, a lot of uh, progress has taken, but you can see that there are still a lot of uh, white areas to improve. Numbers, numbers, numbers. So you can see that uh, in uh, th th three years, you can, or actually in four years, the number doubled or maybe even tripled in some areas, like in the mid Atlantic states, which is pretty great. So actually, uh, that, uh, you, you know that the area of the USA is uh, 3.8 million square miles. So compared to that, uh, this number is still low, so this is actually one twentieth uh, of the actual size of the forest land cover. I mean, the actual size of the USA uh, forest land cover wise. It's a bit different because, as uh, as far as I know, it's thirty three percent for the USA as for land forest land cover. But I I wanted to talk about how I map forests. So, so what I include in the forest is the forest uh, outline. But, uh, for example, I don't include some areas that are in the private properties. For sparse uh, wood areas, I want to dec I decide if I want to have the forest uh, areas uh, separately or maybe in as a big one. Because uh, Yellowstone National Park is a great example, although I don't, didn't include a land cover uh, map about it. Maybe an aerial imagery map about it. But uh, also there is a thing what I want to mention that aerial imagery can be deceptive because of the forest land cover. So, but the, the leafless uh, imageries are scarce. Uh, so you can see this is a leaf on imagery. So you can see that the trees cover everything. And you can see that this is the outline, how it looks like uh, I drew it uh, using fast draw. Uh, maybe the accuracy here at some points could be improved. But uh, you can see that mostly it covers everything. Uh, but you can see that here uh, it's not covered because it's on a private property. That's the first. The second one is that uh, it's too small to be mapped. So it doesn't make any sense. And there are some future plans which I wanted to outline here. I want to finish West Virginia, maybe do Pennsylvania. And also, uh, I want to, uh, so about the data uh, data sets, uh, West Virginia has uh, either none or maybe, maybe by the USGS, but that's uh, pretty low quality. About Pennsylvania, uh, there are 10 count counties which have uh, uh, land use shape files, but they are old, they are from 2010, so they are 14 years old. And uh, I, there are some ideas I would like to outline. So, the, for example, if you want to map the if if you want to map the forest land cover by using AI, yeah, that would be a pretty a pretty good uh, opportunity to you to try out. For example, uh, you get some uh, models and you mix it and uh, then detect uh, which is like a, a shrub a scrubbery area and which is like a, uh, for example, evergreen area or deciduous area, 
and so on. But uh, uh, there was a thing which which is a magic wand, but that doesn't solve the problem. It's most useful useful for farmlands and also for lakes, but not for forest land cover. I want I don't want to go deep into, but yeah, there is there are some uh, uh, down, uh, downsides of that uh, tool. And I would like to include some uh, uh, screenshots, uh, uh, pictures from the presentation which I did on the mapping. Uh, uh, on the Hungarian OSM map, uh, meeting meetup, and you can see that I was uh, showing the exact same slides, but in Hungarian to the community, and uh, they actually enjoyed it. So, yeah, that was my first presentation uh, in in front of a public, uh, in you know, in front of an audience. And here here is the last slide. So the the OSM Hungary proudly. Uh, Proudly um, greets Mapping USA. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watch, watching this uh, short video. Thank you so much. Um, we have about three minutes until the next session. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, Diane. So I think you made a a video about how you do it. I saw this. Um, how can people find that tutorial that you put about how to map forests? Well, I remember. I think if I remember correctly, it's on YouTube and it's under the title of how to map forests. But uh, right now, I haven't prepared the the link uh, for that. But uh, tomorrow, I I'm gonna have a session about that. Uh, maybe I will post the link in the Mapping USA. Uh, chat on Slack. So yeah, but it's on YouTube. And yeah, I've got uh, two questions. Uh, oh, three questions. Nice work. Uh, nice work. Attila, I'm curious if you have a sense of how many members are this on Sigma Uh I know you've done a lot of... Uh, oh, that's nice. Well, there are many mappers. Uh, for example, I can highlight a uh, few mappers. For example, in Alabama, I've got uh, uh, we've got two mappers. For example, Sherbet S and Droll Tide Draw uh, as ESDF JKLL. For example, two of them are really mapping forests. But uh, uh, I think, uh, for example, they are mapping more uh, uh, waterways. That's uh, what the, they are doing on uh, the mapping manager and uh, task manager. So that was uh, one of the questions. The second one is from Mike Weiss. Uh, so, so great. Uh, did you use AI algorithm? Uh, no, I'm using by myself. I'm using uh, some kind of hand drawings uh, using the fast, uh, fa uh, fast draw plugin. So yeah, or uh, are you suggesting AI would be a good tool? Well, AI would be a good tool if you uh, segmented the forest well. And yeah, that would help us really, really much. And uh, from Nicole, there is a question. What made you decide to focus uh, on US instead of Hungary? Or did you finish already finish in Hungary? So the USA was the next challenge. Well, uh, you, Hungary is mostly done, but uh, the data there is kind of okay. At some parts, it has to be improved because of the Korean land cover data that was important and that's not really good. But the, most of the people there have been working on uh, improving the data. Well, why USA? Because I got a friend uh, in West Virginia uh, and Moundsville. And uh, well, I decided and checked the map and then it was like, oh, the map is so uh, empty. So I want to uh, try myself out. So that is the short answer for it. And thank also you, from then, Jack, sorry. Oh, um, thank you so much. I think we have to move on to the next presenter, but yeah, um, that's it. Thank you. Um, your work's inspiring. 